Welcome to this tech tip showing how to easily create multiple setups using EdgeCam. For this application, we're going to focus on how to create secondary milling setups after the turning setups are complete. In the simulation shown on the screen, the first and second turning operations are complete. If we cut the part away, we can see the net effect of the stock after those setups. We're going to pick up from this point to add on the setup for the secondary milling. The process begins by thinking about the work coordinate system, or CPL, that we need for our milling setup. The intent is to hold the part in a chuck in the milling machine so that we can cut the pockets and scallops on this part. We'll begin by choosing the axial CPL, that's a mill-based CPL for turning, and we'll create a new CPL dynamically. We'll assign the name and then assign the origin point. Now that the CPL is created, we can continue to create the new sequence. This will be a milling sequence. We'll choose the machine tool and the tool package as usual. And then on the second page of the milling sequence, we'll choose to make a sequence that is based on the second turning op, picking up from there. We'll use the part in the stock, but not the fixtures. We start by picking the coordinate system, the CPL, and the machine location. Then in a final summary screen, we can give this setup a unique name that helps us identify what it's for. And at this point, the second setup is started. If I turn on the display of the machine tool and fixturing, notice that initially the part is put directly at the center of the machine bed. Not to worry. What we're going to do here is we're going to add on our fixture. I want to use a chuck with jaws, so I'll choose the chuck to use. We'll put in the grip diameter and how much the part sticks out, and EdgeCam helps us quickly add this to the virtual machining assembly. Okay, with the fixture in the setup, it looks like it may help to move this down toward the left end of the bed. So we'll make a quick adjustment and this setup will work. This captures our machine intent for the secondary milling. Let's go turn off the display of the fixtures and machine and focus on the stock. Notice that EdgeCam's easy secondary milling setup has also picked up what the stock looks like at this point of the process and allows us to carry forward and use this intelligently for the rest of our machining. We'd continue with finding features and building toolpath at this point. Let's go and look at a finished part where we can see the features are created, as well as the toolpath for the secondary mill setup that follows the previous two turning ones. EdgeCam simulation prediction shows us how this milling setup will work. We see an accurate preview of the stock from the previous turning, and we can even look at high levels of detail, such as whether the tool is m moving to a point low enough below the bottom end of the pocket to completely move through the fillet radius that's been from the previous turning. This provides a high level of process security, and we can see that this mill setup will in fact work.